you know, I mean, the history of wearables is a really interesting one. I think much of it was driven by the, the computer generation. Um, so if, if you think about when computers became mainstream, sort of in the 90s, that's when we started to see a rise in wearables. And it, it is really the mid-90s that saw their entry into the market. But since that time, what we've seen is we've seen wearable tech permeate just about every form of sport and critically actually into the general population, whether they are fitness, uh, fitness specialists, you know, if they're looking for fitness goals, or actually just now what we're seeing is really lifestyle use of wearables to enhance their quality of life. Um, but back in the mid 90s, you would wear a watch, you wore a heart rate strap, uh, and you would be able to, for the very first time, is actually monitor your heart rate on the move during activity. At the time, it was a revolution, and actually that revolution is still ongoing. I, I think that there isn't a sports team on this planet that doesn't use wearable tech now. It is that ubiquitous. Everybody uses it. And they use it for various different things. But I mean, you know, all of the high-profile teams, Olympic teams, professional teams, are using wearable te tech in some guise, whether it is through heart rate monitoring, whether it's through GPS for tracking distance traveled, speed of travel, um, both in competition and in training. I think from, from a sort of a lifestyle stroke, medical stroke, health perspective, I think it's going to be things like blood pressure. Um, I think it's going to be oxygen saturation. Uh, those type of things which have already moved to be miniaturized, to be used commonly by people in their homes. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start to see those moving down to wearable tech. I mean, we've already seen incredible advances recently in the ability to measure blood glucose using interstitial fluid. Uh, so just from patches, you know, amazing advances. Um, I, I think the bottom line is we could see that actually come to watches. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see why wearable tech actually won't become commonplace for everybody in, in that sense. But I think it's going to be, it, it'll be driven greatly by health, um, but it'll be driven by the consumer, by the medical community and by the sports community.